message to the daughter of the king and comments from her as well. Why does it appear incredible to some who see the power of your Holy Spirit manifesting himself even when they rest in the Spirit? I'm saying nothing more than words of welcome, entreating and pleading for healing and for receiving your gifts. I then opened the Bible and read Numbers chapter 6 verses 22 through 27. The I am that I am spoke to drawn out Moses and said, speak to bright Aaron, Aaron, which means bright, and his sons and say, this is how you must bless the people, prince with God, Israelite. You will say, may the I am that I am bless you and keep you. May the I am eternally the same. Let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the I am forever the same. Show his face and bring you peace. This is how you, they must call down my name on the Israelites, the descendants of Prince with God, then I shall bless them. God Almighty wanted me to write this down in that manner, in the miraculous handwriting manner. I will blow my blessing on anyone who calls me, and I will shine on them, bring them peace, and I will be gracious to them, so will it be. The anyone who wishes to drink, let him come to me, and I will bless him. <clears throat> now, Saint Michael, the Archangel, child of the Father Almighty and of the Most High, spouse of this spouse, garden of the Holy Spirit, fruit of the Most Holy Trinity. Do you know what? Fear of the Lord means Proverbs 8.13. It means hatred of all that is evil and opposite to God. God is good, meek, gentle, merciful, love, and the truth. Let your soul then be fearing God and allow God to perfect you. Proverbs 1.7. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom is given to mere children, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Matthew 19, 14, Mark 10, 14, Luke 18, 16. So unless you change your hearts, Saint Michael, who is like God, speaks now to everyone. And become free of malice, you'll never enter into God's kingdom. Ah, uh, have you not heard how our... Uh, Creator, thrice holy, triumphant over all, had wept with tears of joy while he was creating you. Yes, it is the same God who is the Most High, the great and living God to whom you owe your life, who created you, that the world today has turned against him. How can anyone believe that they will escape God's justice? All this forever under the eye of God. And what he sees as crimes and offenses on his holiness outweigh the sands of the seas. How long will he see his image profaned? Can man support himself by nothing, and for how long? Refusing faithful love is to refuse life. Yet the God they have forgotten has never forgotten them. I can now plead for mercy for all of you, especially for those amongst you whose hearts are the hardest. The weak and the needy have to be rescued and saved from the clutches of the evil one who plots the fall of God's people. So come revive your prayers to me, and I shall intercede. Come with a single mind to save God's children. Come and pray. Well, I am giving you this warning. There are those who would not listen. 
Ask for my intercession and I will protect you and defend you from evil and his dominion. As heaven praises God's wonders, praise you to the most high. Your creator without ceasing. For who in the skies can compare with the almighty one? Who among the sons of God can rival him? His throne, like the sun before me, cries out, Justice. Once the Holy One has spoken, His word will be accomplished, and justice will be done by fire. <clears throat> but for those whose heart was pleasing to God, who cried out to Him, you are my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Psalm 89, 26 and Exodus 15, 2. So will they be made God's firstborn and will not fear in the day. He will come by fire. Soon the I am eternally the same means to pass through among you. Let me hear your fervent prayers. Then ask yourselves, what will the day of the Lord mean for me? And anyone who conspires evil will be working for his own ruin. This is why I tell you, come and sow seeds of peace and reconciliation, so that your fruit will be agreeable to the Almighty, and heaven will be your compensation, Saint Michael. God's Archangel. <coughs> 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 Today I had two ladies from Jehovah's Witness, as they called themselves. I let them in. We had language problems. They seemed very determined and somehow attacked the Catholic religion. They said they would come back with books in English. I'll listen to see what they want. They had arrived while God was writing to me. My son came later on. Briefly, we showed these revelations, and they both giggled, and I understood the word demon. I let them. Hasn't God Almighty told me that soon I will be mocked upon, and he gave me his thorned crown to feel the mockery? Predicted May 7th, 1987. I fear that this is only the beginning. Daughter of the king, sons and daughters of the king, I am near you, do not fear. I, the Lord, have great pity and my mercy is great. And fathomless creation, your sins are black as coal, and without my boundless mercy, my justice would have brought you in total destruction. I am at your very doors now, and as a thief I shall enter. Take heed of my signs. Be prepared. Pray, my daughter of the king, pray for those who resist me still, 
Pray for those who are offending me and who obscure the world, condemning my lambs who walk in the right path. Free them, free them, bring them to me. Ah, daughters and sons of the king, Basula, David, daughter of the king, little lamb, stay near me. Stay hidden under my cape, hidden in my heart. Salvation will come from me, allow me to use you. Yes, Lord. Daughter, son, remember my presence. We us forever and ever, we us together. Saint Mary. <coughs> My Lord, revive me as your word guaranteed. Take away the spirit of lethargy that lies on me. How long will I have this spirit instill a constant spirit of fervor in me? Not deprive me of your holy spirit. Daughter of the king and sons and daughters of the king, I am only waiting to be gracious to you, raise you and place you in my sacred heart. Teresa, Monica, Basula, David, Gary, I'm only waiting to be gracious to you, raise you and place you in my sacred heart. If only you were alert to my precepts, your spirit would have been in constancy with my spirit. You complain, you groan, yet my sacred heart overflows with love and pity for your soul. Put in action all that I have given you. Remember my presence. Make an effort. Keep your distance from all that is not me. Keep your eyes fixed on me and me only. The vessel of my word you are, but do not drift away from with the first current. I have called you and wed you, making you mine. Should you pass through these currents, I am with you, or through hurricanes, these will not uproot you. Should you walk in a nest of vipers, you will not be bitten. I have made your path easy. I will lift you every time you come upon thorns and briars. I realize your weakness and your astounding incapacity. This is why my forbearance is great upon you. So do not venture to say, where is your spirit? My spirit is always with you, my child. Listen, do not be impatient in prayer. God say, God will consider my weakness. He is all merciful. Then go on sinning. Open your ears instead and listen willingly to all my discourses. And I shall give you my light. To understand even shrewd proverbs, for I am with you to save you. Make my heart ready, dear Lord. To praise you in constancy. I'm surrounded by temptations that make me forget your presence. <clears throat> See now? Now you're coming back to your senses. You're beginning to realize in what a wretched state your soul is in. A light has shone in you. Rejoice, soul, rejoice. For if I was not standing by you, you would not be standing at all. Pay attention from now on and never let your heart sink. Always come to me for help. This my daughter of the king is not your last I, the Lord, will lift you every time you fall with greater compassion and love every time. This my daughter, the King, Monica, Gary, David, and everyone else. Bless me and now love me. I bless you, Lord. You who fostered me fatherlike, if my feet wander away from your rightful path again, come quickly to my rescue. Rely on my massive strength, rely on my love, come near then, more than once to me today, love is near you, I bless